out here that looks freaking promising there's thermocline you can see those dots when you see these dots on your graph it's down about 40 feet that's the thermocline if you want to look for it look at all these fish stacked here 60.8 surface temp 614 in the morning let's go so that cheater spoon right there natural born killer copper on the back stinger spoon the bigger sized version of this is called the Stingray. Right now, first bit of the season, a little bit smaller bait fish. So we run a little bit smaller baits. Downrigger rods, we're running mono on them. What we're doing is just a little bit, I don't know, three feet of fluoro with just a swivel. Put this on the line, grab that spoon flip it off to the side and let that go down. Now what happens is with the mono, the mono drags in the water. This is why we use mono for downriggers. It's because of that drag, the line's gonna curve like this. That spoon's gonna slide down to the curve. So right now we're down 69 feet. That spoon's roughly going to be down half, half of that. So we're probably 34 and a half feet. This, because we're overcast, it's raining. I'm gonna throw on a small moonshine spoon. This is the Wonder Bread. Give it a bit of charge up. It's like six in the morning and still gonna be kind of dark down there. All right, give you guys some of the juice here. We'll show you one of the tricks we use for running dipsies. One of the biggest problems when running dipsies is you're gonna let that guy go way, way out. And normally a dipsy is attached to your line. Um, you have it like a 10, 15 foot lead from it and it's a pain in the ass bringing it back to the boat. Your rod's way up here, the dipsy's way down. We add these little offshore clips to the dipsy, front and back. If you're gonna do this, make sure they have that little tooth in there to hold on the line so you don't ever lose your dipsy. And what we do is, you have the braid, catch, bring the clip over. We take this clip and our dipsy attaches to our line just like this and what i do is i do a couple wraps on it just because when i set on this dipsy i don't want this thing to slide at all so there's the front of the dipsy it's attached to our line the back i give it a bit of slack just because it has room then to pop and i only do one extra wrap on this fish hits this you got enough room with this slack to pop this forward and it's still you can fight on this close that up make sure i got this set to the right way you always want to have your weight facing the boat that's going to pull it out three setting big cluster bait yeah i was going to say I... so we've got like 100 feet behind this dipsy right now i'm going to flip this guy out reset my counter and i've got a little locking thing here so we don't lose rods so I'm gonna let that go out probably 160, 180 feet. And that's gonna be our dipsy line. So one thing nice about having dipsy clip to the rod that way, is you get this real nice wavy action like this with your line. It's kind of like running copper or steel. But the problem with copper or steel is, you gotta run two, 300 feet of that crap way out there. And if you get a salmon on a four or 500 copper, I don't even wanna reel that in. I'll be like, someone else can reel that in. I don't wanna waste the freaking half hour, 40 minutes. So. All right, where's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Reel, 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 reel. Don't let it go loose. Got it. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Reel that. There, just hold it. Just hold it now for a sec. It's not a lake. That's a king. That's a king. Yeah, take it, Mike. Go, go, go. Hold yeah, it, we got it. streakers, dude. We got streakers. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running to the shore. <laughs> it's a bicep pop. Holy fuck, go! Oh, no, run it. Let it go. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Pull. Pull. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Okay. Stop. You got it. That. That's good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We got it out. Yeah. 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 There you go. Keep doing that. Real. 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 Here it comes. Once he comes up to the surface, he does a big head shake like that. Yep. Yeah. Don't let him run if you want to run. Keep it on. Keep it on. There you go. Keep reeling. Walk backwards. Go, 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 Walk go, backwards. go. Real, 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 real. Real, real, real. real, real. real, real. You got it. Woo! Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Beautiful colors on him. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Let's go. Let's <laughs> <That's laughs> <all. laughs> oh, go. Oh, fuck. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh
Oh shit, that's a good that's one. That's a big one. Look at the air in my hand. <laughs> yeah, keep here. Okay, okay. Shaking, right. shaking. Probably a Laker, but I don't know. Oh no, he's too wild for a Laker. Okay, yeah, it's a Oh, oh nice. Freaking wild today. No, 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 Small guy. <laughs> now I feel like a pansy. <laughs> Little guy. Little one. So this should be a lake, that I would think. All right, guys, we're out of here. We're back at Penetang Launch. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, that's what we ended up bringing home. Probably saw those on the dock. We're just gonna clean up here and head out. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, hopefully we have some more tips, hints, and tricks for you guys to use out on the water. Talk to you later, bye-bye.